Hello, this is Pixie from Goso.io and today we're going to talk about how to set up your own residential proxies. Ever since the last algorithm update by Instagram, it is making life harder for us to actually automate our accounts. Regular proxies are now being detected by Instagram and they would like block you or follow block you if you're automated. And this is why there's been a huge outcry for residential proxies. And on the market right now, you could see them for around about $100 onwards. And I've seen even some places charging $400 for residential proxies. The main problem with some proxy providers is that it's a global rotating network and what this means is that when you log into the proxy you could be in Taiwan and then when you log in again it will be in London, it will be in America and it triggers the security on Instagram. So what we need is a static residential proxy and the benefits of static proxies is that we can have up to five Instagram accounts per proxy with normal proxies you can only put around about two or three so there's a massive benefit there so we spent weeks hunting down trialing testing all these other companies the rotating proxies especially the worldwide ones was causing security checks which is not good for instagram and these guys at resnetworking.com it seemed a bit too good to be true i trialed them hacked around a bit with some of their their software and it works absolutely great as there is a massive demand for residential proxies nowadays, I reached out to the owner of resnetworking.com, explained the situation, and they agreed to actually create a package which will help you create your own residential proxies. You'll need a little bit of knowledge of Linux, but I'm going to talk you through it step by step, and it's going to be child's play. So to get started, it's very, very simple. So let's get started. Go to www.resnetworking.com. Head over to prices and you will see a special tab which says goso.io residential proxy IP server. And on here, they give us such a good deal. It's, they've got three different packages. They've got five total IPs on one of them, 10 and 15. They work out at $6 per residential IP. They're static, they're non-rotating and you can fit up to five Instagram accounts per one. If you only want one or two proxies, unfortunately, this is not the service for you, but there will be a package later on which they're going to be releasing, which will be for the individual users. So please click on the link or look in any of our future videos. Chances are the tutorial will be there. So now we're going to place an order. I'm going to select the five total IPs, which is 30 US dollars plus two dollars charge the prices might change so in a year or two if you've seen this videos the prices may have gone up they may have dropped you never know but right now the 30 dollars if you have a coupon code we have one if you type in goso.io and click on validate code it will give you a discount same with this one there will definitely be a discount it might be five percent it might be ten percent it might be fifteen percent it depends on when you order so we click on validate code. As you can see here, this time it's a 5% one-time discount. It's saving us $1.60, but it's a little bit of money, but it all goes to help. Next thing we need to go is to the checkout page. So let's presume now that you've registered, you've logged in, you've made a payment. It is gonna take a few hours for resnetworking.com to get back with you with the server details. Whilst you're waiting, go to goso.io. This is my shameless plug right now. We do things like power likes, growth, instant automated comments, you name it. We're always grown. And recently we have been voted the top 50 media marketing companies worldwide. Very simple, www.goso.io. So now you received your login details. We need to get started. If you're on Macintosh, simply go to your search bar and type in terminal. And this is where we're going to set up your proxies. If you're on Windows, you need to go to putty.org. That's P-U-T-T-Y.org. And this is what the website looks like. And it's download putty. Click here to download. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to do everything on putty. But I'm going to show you how to get started. Launch putty. You've got your login details. And they'll give you an IP, which looks something like this. You basically copy and paste or type it into the host name for IP address and you click on open. 
It's going to ask you for a security alert, like it's uh, this server's host key is not cached. Just click yes, and it'll load up here, and it will look a little bit like DOS. Don't be alarmed, it is actually very, very useful. So with a username and password, they supply you. It will start with the word root, and then it will ask for a password. In this case, they supplied one for me, and we'll log in. And this is the start of setting up your own proxy. I've just enhanced the text so it's easy for you to read and also made the screen full. So as you can see here, we've logged in with root and the password. And the first thing we need to do is to ensure that your server is fully secure and only you could log into it. So you type in P-A-S-S-W-D, that's like password, hit enter or return and you type in your new password. So I'm going to type in one, so I'm going to type in again. Now, this has been updated. You're going to get password updated successfully. This means that only you now can log into the server. If you have problems with the server later on and you want the guys over at resnetworking.com to, uh, to log into your server, they need your login details. This is totally cutting everybody out from using your proxy server. The next thing we need to do is update the server to make sure it's up to date and secure that no one can hack into it. And the way we do this, we type in apt get space update and this could take a little time so i'm going to take a pause and uh, come back to you once it's actually done we now know it's complete because it's gone back to the root ubuntu typing screen so next we need to type in apt hyphen get upgrade and this is going to go through and upgrade everything so it's all fully up to date. As you can see here, it's a new server, so I've already upgraded it before. So all the security updates and everything is now complete. So now we're gonna check and see what IP addresses have been assigned for us. And to find out what the IPs are, simply type in Joe, G-O-E, space, forward slash ETC, forward slash network, forward slash interfaces. Hit return and it'll come up with a text editor. So now that the file is open, we can find out what our IP addresses are. So we scroll down, we keep on scrolling. We can see the first one here, that's our first IP address. This is a primary network interface. And you see the address here, the 65. We select that and luckily on Putty, it automatically copies. So we're gonna go over to Notepad and we're gonna paste. And that's our first, and that's the main IP address of what we're going to be using for proxies. Ignore the gateway. If we keep it scrolling down, you'll see numbers two, three, four, and five. This is a five proxy network, so obviously you're going to get five IP addresses. Do you offer 10 and even 15? And you're going to have to do the same for that one. So with number two, we're going to go to address and we're going to highlight. And like I said, it automatically copies and then we paste in here the third one highlight paste number four paste the final one which is number five remember the arrow keys to the bottom this is address and that's our five different ips like i said don't select the gateway we're not going to touch that so now this is done we simply press Control k and x and that saves it but obviously there's nothing been changed. So now we know what IPs we're gonna be using and now we need to install some additional software and upgrade. So what we need to do now is go to apt get hyphen y space install fail to ban space software hyphen properties slash common hit enter it's now going to install these extra packages as you see it's very quick so now it's done we're going to add some more so we're going to type in apt hyphen get install build essentials space lib event hyphen dev lib ssl slash 
sorry, hyphen dev. It's now going to install more. If it comes up with anything that you want to continue, always select yes. We're all done. So next, we're going to configure the proxy. And to do that, we type in cd forward slash etc forward slash free proxy. Hit enter. And we're now in the proxy software. So now we're into free proxies folder. We're going to type in Joe space free proxy dot CFG. That's a config file. Hit enter. And now you're going to see something that looks like this. If you use the arrow keys, you can hover to the top of the page. And uh, basically, we're not going to touch anything until. We reach here where it says here is where you add your users. This is this will be the protection login for your proxies. Example users, username, and then you got CL which you keep, and then your password. So if you use the default right now, which is Goso IO as a username, the CL just ignore, and then the password is going to be Goso Pass, and this is going to be the password what we use to log into your residential proxies. So if you want to create multiple users it's really really straightforward you can t uh, hit return type in users we're going to type in test user then cl and then test pass and this means that both goso io and test user will be able to use these proxies this is great if you want to give out any sensitive passwords to people or if you do plan to resell these as well so we're going to hover down if we've uh, added a new user we need to allow them to actually use the system. So as you can see here, we've got allow Goso IO. So we need to type in allow test user. If you don't type this in there, it will not work. So thirdly, the proxy example, this is how it's gonna be set up. The P bit here is gonna be the, the port number. So obviously it's gonna be whatever your IP is, and then, then call it, and then 3128. You can name it whatever you like. It could be 9999, 1234, it's totally up to you. Usually with proxies, the default is 3128. So let's get started. And the way we're gonna start is we're gonna, do you remember these proxies from before? We're gonna select one of them, right click and copy, go back in. And you see where it's got this I and the E, we need to replace them in here so it needs to be slash i and to paste it's really straightforward like we before we we did this we right clicked and copy you can press ctrl c in putty you just right click and it and it pastes that's it so we can go here as well right click it needs to be the same ip on both lines so then we're going to go to the second one copy Paste. Make sure you don't miss out the I and E that needs to be there. I'm going to fast forward now and pre fill everything in. So, as you can see, I pre filled in all the information for all the five IPs. So, the first one is your main IP, and the remaining four is the extra IPs. So, if you're on the 10 IP network or you're on the 15, this list will be bigger and bigger. So, just to recap, remember. Your IP will be for the proxy will be your this IP here and plus colon three one two eight will be the part number. The username will be Goso IO and the password will be whatever you put it. So in this case it'll be Goso Pass. But the same user can use the same proxy IP and it'd be called test user and test pass. So you can create multiple users. Like I said, if you want to resell them, once you fill this information in, hold Control down and press K and X. And as you can see here, it says file freeproxy.cfg is now been saved. So now that it's saved, we just need to make sure that a few little settings has been assigned to the file. So chmod space 700 free proxy cfg. And that means it's not complete. So now that we've edited the configuration file, let's see if it actually works. Type in sh forward slash etc forward slash free proxy forward slash scripts rc.d forward slash proxy dot sh and then start fingers crossed this would work hit enter if it says starting free proxy would know that the proxy is now working so these 
these uh, proxies here are now fully working with this port number. So now let's get it tested and see if it actually is working. So now we're going to this website which is proxy6.net and then we click on the checker and what we're literally going to do is put in your IP address, the port number, your username and your password. If we click on check proxy it's going to run a test. If it says a tech it means it's actually now up and running. Let's presume that you've gone through all your IPs, you tested, you see that they're actually working. They're now ready to be used so you can put them in your automated software, you can put them on your browser and it's fixed. IPs and it basically shows a location in the United States and it will be a popular ISP as well. So now that we're back on Putty we need to do a few little things to make sure that everything's finished now. At any time if you want to update it, so let's say if it is a security update, you need to kind of log in let's say once a month and just to do a little update you type in apt get update and it will search for any new updates and once this is complete, which should be any second now, and then we need to type in apt git upgrade. And this will install any upgrades what has happened since then. I can't stress how important this is because obviously in a month or two, if there was a security update, what needs to happen with it, you need to run this to fully secure your server. And then that's it now. Uh, once you're all done, uh, we can actually shut it down so we type in shut down forward slash r and then now and this will actually reboot the system and it'll be ready to go and that's it that's how to set up your residential proxies i'd like to say a massive thank you for dimitri from gittraffic.pro this guy is amazing he's helped me out when i've had a few problems in the past especially with setting up normal proxies and when we work together and actually set up these residential proxies together we found that they actually worked we actually tried out other companies as well which weren't that great if you want to pay for any services regarding residential proxies go to www.gittraffic.pro speak to dimitri it is a paid service but if you don't want to do anything what you've just seen for the last 10 or so minutes go and speak to dimitri Thank you guys so much for this video. We do offer loads of other tutorial videos which help you go viral, especially after the latest algorithm update. If you go to www.goso.io and if you want some free video tutorials, go to youtube.com forward slash goso.io. Thank you guys so much. Give us a thumbs up. This has taken me ages to set up this video for you and it will save you money. Send us some comments and if you have any problems, head over to the Goso forums. Thank you guys so much. Here at Goso.io we do actually offer services to get you back on the viral page. We do power likes which are from random sources. You'll get a random number of power likes as well. Random saves. You name it. We have hundreds of customers who love our service and we're constantly updating our service to be one step ahead of the algorithm. So if you are interested you can go to www.goso.io. We do offer a trial for free power likes as well which is unlimited free power likes to test out our services if we do work out for you we do have paid services as well check out the website www.goso.io and please subscribe to this channel